Hello, this is Zana, the tech guy at Vigilius. Today we're going to go over how to use our digital stethoscope to do telemedicine auscultation. The digital uh, stethoscope we use is a powerful tool. However, I'd like to go over some of the features so that you feel comfortable uh, with utilizing it. The first feature I would like to go over is this little box right here. So this little box is very important and needs to be set up just so so that you can do um, the so that you can do the auscultation properly. So you'll notice on this little box we have an icon here that represents the stethoscope, and the wire coming out of next to that little box should go directly to the stethoscope itself. So like so, that wire should go to the stethoscope. Opposite the stethoscope is a rectangular box. The wire for that box will go to uh, the MITEI itself and it'll plug in into this port right here into the MITEI, into the handheld. So we also have an area to plug in the headphones. So um, I have my headphones right here. I will plug th those into this port. There's another port that has an arrow. That port we will leave empty. That port is specifically designed to connect um, the digital stethoscope to a computer but we won't be doing this uh, with the MITEI system. On this little box there are two dials. One is called the monitor, the other one's the source. You can move uh, the little red dial button back and forth. On the monitor if you move the little red dial button and you put your earphones on you will only hear the stethoscope. If you move it fully towards the monitor you will only hear the person on the monitor or the other video conferencing person on the other end or the physician. In our configuration we always want to keep the monitor button dead in the center. That allows you to listen to the stethoscope and have a conversation with the physician on the other end to get feedback. So always remember to keep that mo monitor button dead in the center. The source button is kind of like a volume button and the where you want to have it is completely at the highest volume or to the right in this orientation like I'm showing you. Okay, so now we've talked about the ThinkLink which is uh, this little box and uh, you want to make sure all your connections are secure before every encounter. So here we go, are my connections are secure. And here is the digital stethoscope. It has a dial, the bottom dial shows the volume from 0 to 10 the top shows the frequencies that you're going to be able to listen to with the stethoscope. I like to turn mine on using the button next to the zero, just like so. The stethoscope has four buttons, one on the bottom left, one on the top left, one on the bottom right, one on the top right. The bottom buttons are the volume buttons, zero and ten. The top button, this top button on the top left is the frequency button. This is the button you use to change the frequencies that you're going to be listening to. So in this setting right here with all the lights on, I can listen to all the frequencies including the heart sounds and the lung sounds. But if I press it and hold it down, it'll change to uh, this setting with the two LEDs closer to the lower frequency range on. This represents the bell of the stethoscope. And then we have other intermediary settings which let you listen to intermediate frequencies. But your stethoscope will have been preset to this setting which you will use about 90% of the time. This setting allows you to listen to the heart sounds and the lung sounds. And once in a while you'll have a, a cardiologist or another physician who would ask you to listen to the bell of the stethoscope and you will use this setting with... Uh, with the LEDs lit, the two LEDs on the left lit. The stethoscope is very powerful. I suggest you start using it at a volume between 3, 4, or 5. If you use it at a volume higher, uh, it may, uh, including 8, 9, 10, it may distort the sound through the internet. So, um, now that we've gone over the stethoscope, we can let's use it. So all you need to do to use it is turn it on like I have and plug it into your Mighty in the port down on the handheld this way, like this. We're ready to auscultate. 
When you auscultate, this stethoscope is very sensitive. You do not want to have any rustling parts around the diaphragm of the stethoscope. I suggest, in my practice, I hold the stethoscope this way. I hold it from the back, and then I press it on the subject that I want to auscultate. In addition, because it's so sensitive, if you uh, auscultate through clothes, it's going to pick up the rustling on the clothes. So I suggest uh, when you auscultate, you ask the patient to bare their chest so you can put the stethoscope directly on the skin. In this fashion, you will get the best auscult uh, auscultative results. Once you're done, um, on your, uh, when, you, when you have plugged in the stethoscope into the handheld, you will no longer hear the sound from the speaker. You will now hear the sound from the earphones. Uh, and uh, the physician on the other end will now be hearing you speak through the stethoscope. Uh, and the sound may sound a little bit different. So um, once you're done auscultating, all you need to do is unplug the stethoscope from the handheld device. Uh, the handheld device will detect that you've unplugged the stethoscope and will automatically reroute the sound to the speaker. At that point, you're ready to continue your video conferencing uh, session. Thank you, and uh, if you have any questions, contact us directly uh, on how to use uh, this wonderful digital stethoscope.